All right, Meg Aquarium, let's go ahead and start a new game. As you can see, I've played ahead a little bit just to make sure I uh, have the basics down. I don't want to like jump into this game and not know what I'm doing, so we're going to start from level one, sunny side. And I think I'll just keep it on normal, you know? I don't really, I don't really care for that much of a challenge, let's be honest. Welcome to Sunnyside. You've been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Wow, I feel like I'm going back to first grade. I can't even read. Okay, so before the investors can release any funding, they want to make sure we can handle the basic controls. Well, we can handle the basic controls. So first thing we're going to do is hover over here. Pan camera, orbit camera, zoom camera. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, what's the home button? Okay. Time to build. First round of funding. I won't let you down, I promise. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to read all these messages. I think we get the idea. The um, objectives are just going to pop up over here on the right, and let's just knock them out one at a time, you know? So first thing we're going to do is build two basic tanks. Tanks are over here on the left. Ooh, place placement is everything. Um, it's not too important in the early game. Like on level one, I'm not going to worry about it at all, actually, but <clears throat> in the future, when we uh, prove ourselves here and move on to bigger and better aquariums, um, the positioning is just going to be everything, so remember that. Next objective, attach a basic filter to each tank, so we're going to find the filters right underneath the tanks. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it wants a uh, basic heater. That's going to be here with the filters. Doing good so far. Oh boy. Oh boy. Somebody's going to have to help me pronounce this name. Um, add some Azure de Moisels. Are, are the L's silent? I, you never know, right? Those are fishes, and you can find fishes right here underneath the tanks and the uh, heating and filter. Let's go ahead and do what they tell us, right? Don't want to make the aquarium gods angry. Add some decorations. So, decorations, oh wow, it's just like knocking everyone off the list, right? So next we're going into decorations. Okay, you're getting some lettuce. Next thing we want to do, build an orange pellet dispenser. So I wonder, is it going to be in here? Oh wow, that is just so, so convenient. I'm going to put the pellet dispenser on this side of the wall. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to really worry about the placement too much. Next, we're going to build a, a tool station. And it also tells us that we can use our uh, scroller on our mouse to rotate. That's going to come in handy. Hire an aquarist. Okay, so I think the um, staff is going to be located down here. Anna. Hello, Anna. Welcome to my aquarium. She can feed and she can fix. It's good enough for me. I think we only need one person at this time, Harry. Perhaps later on in the future, we will have opportunities here for you. 
All right, last but not least, we're gonna open up this baby. Okay, so we have our first guest. And they're gonna give us some of that sweet, sweet cash. In addition, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology, symbolized by this little green icon, which can be used to unlock new animals for your aquarium. It all, it all feeds back into the, uh, the greater goal, which is to perfect the aquarium, right? Cool, so we got a guest. And so now that we have some of these ecology, ecology points, we can um, research our next fish. Orchid dotty back. Precious. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward until we unlock the first fish. We'll get it eventually. Wow, that wasn't too bad, was it? <clears throat> we have unlocked the Orchid Dottie back. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna pause the game. That's the next objective. Expand your floor space. Click and drag. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay, I thought it was gonna tell me the button to press, but it doesn't. Moving decorations and animals. Whoa, this just kind of popped up out of the blue. I'm starting to get overwhelmed. Um, did you know you can move animals and decorations between tanks? Oh yeah, cool. This is gonna come in handy. The move tool is M. I've actually re rebound some of the hotkeys. Yep. I've changed move to five, so I'm going to be using the uh, number pad on my mouse to help me out with some of these hotkeys. And you get the basic basic idea. Um, eventually, when you start expanding your aquarium, you're going to want to move fish around. So this is just a little helpful tip that. Um, is letting us know that we can in fact move fish around and de decorations and we can also demolish stuff so let's keep that in mind shall we okay let's see expand which way do I want to go with it hmm already just so many decisions we have to make Okay, it tells me at the bottom how much it's gonna cost. 280, I mean, geez, I could make this thing huge. All right, so we've completed the um, floor space expansion. Next is going to be to build a large tank, so we're gonna find that right here in our tanks. Okay, it says large tank, but it wants us to use a basic tank and just make it bigger. I think. Okay, yeah, that's what it wanted us to do. Practice moving tank. Okay, so I'm going to hover over it. Hit the move hotkey and then I'm able to move it around so okay give me those objectives they went away for a second scared the heck out of me okay next we're gonna add a basic heater and filter to the new tank let's go ahead and do that We're gonna add some orchid dotty backs to the new one. Okay. Let's hope it's big enough. The game is unraveling, folks. 
different care requirements. You may have noticed a set of icons attached to each animal you research and acquire. These are known as animals care requirements. Failure to meet these will reduce the health of your animals and could lead to death. Oh my goodness. We do not want any dead fishies, okay? Your investors have arranged for you to access a new fish called the half and half. Chrom Chromis. Oh my goodness. I'm going to butcher so many names. Um, let's take a look at its care requirements. Let's do that. Okay, so... I, I mean... Okay. Okay, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm absorbing so much information about fish, I didn't even know. Um, so this half and half chrom chromis is what is known as a shoaler which means that it needs to be in a group of at least four of the same kind of fish. So, demonstrate your understanding of care requirements by satisfying the requirements of the half and half chrom chromis in a new tank. Well, we can do that. We can do that. Look at all this space over here. I've, I've expanded. I don't like I don't like these people going into this corner over here, so I'm gonna see if I can't just put it right there in the corner. Sure, why not? Basic filter, heater, just like instinct. We're gonna put a heater and a filter on all of them. Half and half, where you at? That's all it takes. Just some, just some loving from the uh, good old aquarium staff, and we're well on our way. We've got a few different species of fish in my aquarium, my in our aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations, faculties, and increase the repertoire repertoire of animals which are available to research. Ooh, interesting, interesting. The higher your rank, the more guests you attract and the more they are willing to pay to enter your aquarium. Ooh, we're gonna be making big bucks. Ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige points. These are earned whenever a guest enjoys something in your aquarium. There are many ways to earn prestige, but you'll earn the majority with your animals, tanks, and decorations. Next objective is to rank up, after which you'll be able to unlock the animals required for your remaining objectives. Okay, it's just holding our hand right through this. And I indeed did rank up. So I get a little screen telling me what is unlocked. The staff door, you will notice, is only unlocked at this point. It's not unlocked before now, which um, gave me a headache um, the first time I tried to jump back into this game because just I, I, I just have to keep the filters and the heaters behind a wall, behind a door, because my OCD is just insane. Now that we're ranked two, we have access to more animals. You are going to unlock them one at a time and ensure each of their care requirements are met. Well, it's not really giving us a lot of options here, so. Oh, but look at this. Wimp, the King Demoisil, Demoisil, somebody's got to correct me. The King Demoisil is a wimp and can't be housed with a bully. Okay, we haven't, 
encountered a bully fish yet, but this one's probably going to have to be in a tank with something similar or less threatening than it. And this is the screen where I could, if I wanted to, move fish around um, from tank to tank, but gotta remember that these half and halves need to stay together, at least four of them. So those guys are stuck in that tank. Okay, we've unlocked the King de Moisel. Let's take a look. Timid beauty. Okay, we already we already are looking out for this kind of stuff, all right? Because we're next level casual gamer. <laughs> so we already know it's a wimp. We're gonna make sure we uh, meet all its requirements. So, how much? How big is this fish? Size two. So I think that'll just fit pretty much anywhere at this point. Let's put it in the front one. It's it'll be the well, like one of the first fish you see when you're coming in the aquarium. Okay, now it looks like it's just gonna run through a couple more fish for us. The next one that we're gonna research and um, put into our aquarium is the Arabian Blue Lined Dotty Back. This is the bully that we, um, we've heard so much about. I don't, I don't have to be playing on fast forward. I can like sit in the aquarium for a bit and enjoy it. Um, there is this pretty cool feature. Wow, this guy is going crazy here. But there's this cool feature where you, if you zoom into the um, zoom into the floor, you'll just become one of these characters and you'll basically get to walk around your aquarium, which is it's pretty cool. I think I think it's pretty cool. Um, the fish look good to me. The colors are nice and bright. They pop. And, uh, you know, if, if I ever get bored with the fish, I'm sure I can um, harass the staff or something. Totally kidding. Um, so we're still waiting on this Arabian Blue Line Dotty back. But what is this? Broken equipment. Right, so our filters and heaters are going to need repairs every so often. A staff member with fixing role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna, Anna, you got that. You, you absolutely have got that. Okay, and we have unlocked the blue line dotty back it's a bully blue line bully bu blue line bully we'll, we'll have to remember that so let's see and he's a, he's kind of a bigger one too look he's um four in size Do we have any space for this guy? I think he'll fit in here and the other fish shouldn't mind. So let's do that. Okay, next fish is the yellow tang. Man, we're just unlocking all sorts of fish. Okay, and this one is gonna be eating green pellets. So we we'll wanna We'll want to upgrade our feeding station at some point, or add another one, actually. It's a plant lover. So, 
We're gonna have some decorations in its tank as well. How do I... Okay, sorry, I just forgot how to orbit the camera. Okay, let's just expand a little bit more, why not? Should be enough space for our basic tanks. Don't go back there. Okay, we're just setting up a new um, tank for the yellow tank whenever that is ready. Everything is operating optimally. Oh no, wait. So many things happening. Okay, we've unlocked Yellow Tang. Okay, it also needs higher wi water quality. Um, so it's a little high maintenance, but it also gives us some of that sweet, sweet prestige and ecology, and that is what we're after. So we're going to do whatever the fishes tell us to do. All right, let's see if Harry's still available. Harry, it's your lucky day. Okay, now we got two applicants and then we only have one spot. Hmm. Gosh. How awful would I be if I picked Wade over Harry? Harry's been waiting for a job, and he has fixing fixing level two, which is the main reason why I need an extra ha set of hands right now. But uh, got a good feeling about this Wade guy, you know? Hmm, this Wade character. No, we're just gonna go with Harry because that he's he's best suited for the job. We'll we'll give Wade a a chance next time. You know what? No, no, we're not gonna hire him now. <laughs> I'm not just here to hand out jobs, okay? I'm here to run an aquarium. It's a business. And uh, wow, I'm just I'm just getting very lost. So let's let's circle back to our um, objectives over here. So we've unlocked the yellow tang, and um, now we all have, now now all we have to do is put it in a tank that is suitable for it. So let's find this guy, suitable home. I don't think he wants to be alone, but he's a big guy, six. Wow. Oh, I think I think one of these yellow tangs will look really nice in this half and half tank we already have over here. Let's see. Okay. Okay, that's okay. You know, just gotta roll with the punches, adapt to the situation. So I just paused the game briefly because it's telling me that I don't have green pellets, I don't have good water quality, and I don't even have plants in this aquarium. I feel so sorry for my fish, actually. So, we are just going to put some more lettuce. It only needs one, so. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give everyone some lettuce. Why not? Feeling generous today. Okay, and I guess I must have missed when we unlock this, but this is a combined filter which offers the filter function and the heater function. It just 
oh wow look at that it's actually just as effective as each of these just rolled into one I did not notice that before wow it's all starting to make sense um, so we're just gonna start putting one of these on everything that that should do it okay we don't want to forget about the green pellets even though we've accomplished that objective Okay, and I've resumed the clock. We're on day, day eight. And would you look at that? Next fish ready for research. Black, black bar soldier fish. We can just look right now. He doesn't like lights. We don't even have lights, so you're in luck, buddy. He's going to need a cave, and they're going to eat orange pellets, so let's go ahead and start researching that. And just soak it all in, the, the aquarium running. You got guests coming in, looking at that first, that first aquarium right here. What is it? That's the King de, de Moss. I can't even spell it. I'm just going to call it the King D. Oh, what are those blue fish called? I've already forgotten all their names. I can't pronounce their names and I've forgotten them. Ooh, look at that. That's a pretty one. Yeah. Hey, hello. Oh, sorry. Don't. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Okay. Just. I was kind of walking here. Oh, the pink ones are, look really nice. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Oh, these must be the uh, the half and half cr chromis fishes that I've heard so much about. Yep, there needs to be at least four of them at all times. It's just how they roll, you know. Okay, we unlocked our black bar soldier fish. Let's take a look at it. Okay, it's telling us that we un unlocked a specific decoration, the Driftwood Cave. And this guy needs a cave. He also doesn't like lights, so whenever we do get lights, we're going to make sure not to put them near this guy. Takes up a space of four. I think he'll fit fit in with these guys. What do you think? Okay, look, the water quality goes down whenever you add a fish to a tank. Um, it's usually the case, so. Let's just let's put one of these industrial sized filters on the side of it. We could probably get rid of our other two. In fact, let's just go ahead and get rid of these. Ooh, misjudge that one. So we're gonna need a filter on it. Okay, let's make sure to get that cave ready. One of your guests has grown tired. Build some benches so they have somewhere to sit and rest. Okay, we're gonna find that down here in the facilities section, along with the staff door. Um, oh yeah, oh that's beautiful, yep. Okay, we have this final goal, 
to get some more prestige and hold it for for three and a half minutes but can we just appreciate in that last objective how it asked me to place three of these benches right and and look at that look like I've created a wall with the benches so now there isn't just like a large empty area for these people to wander and get lost in they actually have to go down a hallway and they're kind of forced to turn and look at look at the fish on the sides it's not the best layout um, but you know it's I think it's doing the job speaking of job um, I have a tank over here that is empty I feel like if I if I fill this up we will have a um, pretty so solid aquarium so you know what I kind of want three of these guys okay okay they're they're a little high maintenance There you go, and and just for just because I'm in the the giving mood, Wade, you're hired. I don't know why I waited so long. Well, I mean, I could just sit back and let the prestige kind of build. I think. I think if I fast forward, I'll potentially get enough to complete the objective, but um, you know what, let's, let's put our skills to the test, let's just build another, uh, another little tank over here, or you know what? I just I have so many ideas, you know, and there's just not enough time. I'm earning I'm earning too much prestige too fast. That'll do, that'll do. And that's all we need for this guy. Haven't done rocks yet. Ooh, what's next? Okay, so we're just gonna call the blue ones Azure. We're gonna call this one King D, half and half. Pink Dotty back. Bully, bully blue line. Soldier fish, we'll, we'll be on a first name basis with these fish, essentially is what I'm saying, so I don't have to butcher the uh, pronunciation every time let's do some of the the azures let's do three of those let's get another half and half shoulder club going it looks like that's just going to fill up that tank so and now i'm just soaring above the uh the prestige needed to complete this level of the campaign. Let's go ahead and just write it out with the fast forward engaged. I win. You've built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium and people have started to take notice. That's right, take notice of my aquarium. You've received a job offer to run a larger aquarium over in Northwoods. You can continue to build here at Sunnyside for as long as you want. Yada, yada, yada when you're ready to move on to bigger and be better things, let me know. 
Okay. Well, you already know. 